name is Mark Leach of Metasynthesis and I'm the author of the Chemogenesis webbook. This short series of videos concerns Lewis acids, Lewis bases and Lewis acid base interactions, a concept that's extremely useful in understanding chemistry and chemical reactivity. Congeneric arrays of Lewis acids and Lewis bases. The question is, where do we find Lewis acids and Lewis bases in reaction chemistry space? Now, the main group elements as materials present as a diverse set. We have the metallic elements to the left-hand side of the periodic table. In the middle, we have the network covalent elements such as silicon and germanium. And to the right, we have the elements presenting as molecular materials, van der Waals materials. Now we need to normalize the main group elements with a common bonding partner. There are several possibilities that we could use. We could take the lithium compounds of all the main group elements. We could take the oxygen compounds, the oxides, or we could take the fluorides by using fluorine as a common bonding partner. But by far the best element is hydrogen to produce the main group elemental hydrides. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the main group elements, react them with hydrogen to produce the main group elemental hydrides. The main group elemental hydrides are often extremely common chemical entities. For example, we have hydrogen H2, water H2O, methane CH4, ammonia NH3, hydrogen chloride HCl, sodium hydride NaH, for example. Now, if we analyse the main group elemental hydrides in terms of Lewis acids and Lewis bases, we find a strip down the middle as Lewis acids. Remember, in the chemogenesis analysis, Lewis acids are coloured red. These are species such as boron hydride and aluminium hydride. To the right, we find a large group of uh, Lewis bases. These are species that complex with Lewis acids. Remember, in the chemogenesis analysis, Lewis bases are coloured blue. We also find hydrogen H2 as a Lewis base. To the left, we find the uh, saline hydrides, lithium hydride, sodium hydride, calcium hydride. Now these are Lewis acid base complexes. For example, sodium hydride is Na plus H minus. So we're gonna take our main group elemental hydrides and we're gonna do five reactions involving hydrogen species. These are the proton H plus, the hydride iron H minus and the hydrogen radical H dot. We're going to add H plus, add a proton to our set of main group elemental hydrides. We're going to remove H plus from our set of main group elemental hydrides. We're going to add a hydride ion. We're going to remove a hydride ion and we're going to remove a hydrogen radical. So we're going to start by adding H plus. So we're going to add a proton to our main group elemental hydrides. And this gives a large group of species. We're going to study these in more detail later on. But briefly, hydrogen H2 reacts to give the H3 plus iron. The saline hydride, such as sodium hydride, reacts to give Na plus. And the Lewis bases react to give the conjugate Bronsted acid when we add H plus to these species. For example, H2O reacts to give H3O plus. So we get the common onium ions H3 plus NH4 plus and also the group 1 and 2 cations Na plus and Mg2 plus. We remove H plus from our set of main group elemental hydrides. Notice not all of the species react. When we remove H+, hydrogen H2 gives the hydride ion, and we have our large block of species on the right-hand side of the periodic table. Methane gives the carbon ion, water gives the hydroxide ion, 
hydrogen chloride gives the chloride ion. So this generates the hydride ion and the main group anions such as methyl anion, nitro anion, hydroxide and fluoride. Add hydride ion H minus. This gives species such as boron hydride BH4 minus, aluminium hydride ALH4 minus. These species are important as reducing agents. Remove hydride ions. Remove H minus from our set of main group elemental hydrides. Uh, hydrogen H2 gives the proton H plus, an important Lewis acid. The saline hydrides give us our very common uh, metal cations. And the P block Lewis bases generate the conjugate enium ions, such as CH3 plus, water gives OH plus, and the halogen hydrides give the corresponding halogen cations. The P block elemental hydrides give enium ions. Finally, we remove hydrogen radical, H dot. These give the radicals, but the saline hydrides give the metals. For example, removing H dot from lithium gives us lithium metal. Right, so this gives us quite a large set of species. And we're going to look at the sets of species as arrays. As we're dealing with Lewis acids and Lewis bases, we're just going to look at the Lewis acid and Lewis base species. So all the other information has been removed. And these are now arranged as Lewis acids and Lewis bases. Note, Lewis acids are red, Lewis bases are blue. What we've generated is a series of congeneric arrays of isoelectronic species, where the term congeneric means of the same family. We see we have congeneric planars. These are two-dimensional arrays. We have series. These are linear arrays. And we have a number of congeneric dots. These are species without any congeneric cousins. They're lonely species. Right, let's have a look at the congeneric series first of all. One example congeneric series goes from CH3 minus NH2 minus OH minus F minus. And we find that we have regular chemical properties that occur along this series. The carbanion CH3 minus is the strongest base. Fluoride iron is the weakest Bronsted base. We also find this in two-dimensional congeneric arrays, where we find have regular changes in chemistry from left to right, up and down, and also diagonally. We find in this two-dimensional array, the carbanion is the strongest base. Iodide iron is the weakest Bronsted base. And using Pearson hard soft acid base type analysis, we find that fluoride iron is the hardest base and the tin hydride iron is the softest Lewis base. We can also carry out congeneric array interaction algebra. Well, a one times one array times a one times one array gives a one times one array. This comes from simple matrix arithmetic. In our analysis, a dot times a dot gives a dot. H plus, which is congenerically unique, plus H minus, which is congenerically unique, gives hydrogen H2, which is congenerically unique. And here we can see various combinations of array algebra. Another example, a 5 times 1 series times a 4 times 1 series gives a planar. So if we take the group 1 cations and react those with some period 2 anions, we get an array of salts, here going from methyl lithium to cesium fluoride. And we find that we have regular changes in structure and chemical behaviour over the array, both up and down and across and diagonally. If we take a 5 times 1 series times a 4 times 4 planar, we get a 5 times 4 times 4 volume. So if we take a congeneric series times a congeneric planar, we get a congeneric volume. And we see this with a rather remarkable set of species where we have regular behaviour. 
in this congeneric volume. Lithium iodide is the weakest base. Lithium fluoride is a weak base. Methyl lithium is a very strong base. And we may predict that methyl cesium will be the strongest base of all. Cesium iodide is the densest material, etc., etc. In the Chemogenesis web book, there is a database of congeneric arrays. So we've gone from the periodic table to the main group elements to the main group binary hydrides. We've taken five hydrogen probe experiments and we found congeneric arrays, congeneric dots, congeneric series and congeneric planars of Lewis acids, Lewis bases and some Lewis acid base complexes. Thank you very much.